Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on record trigger flow. Let's understand the scenario that I'm going to demonstrate. So we need to update child records without using the loop element using record trigger flow. So the requirement is whenever on account record phone field is updated, then you need to update all related contacts home phone field so that account phone can be matched to those home phone fields available on the contact record. So this I'm going to show you how we can implement without using loop element. So I'm going to create new flow that will be a record trigger flow. And as we need to update the account, so uh, this flow will be uh, based on account object when a record is updated. And here I'm going to apply a condition. So phone is changed. True. Right. So if phone field is updated, then we need to update the related contacts. So now I'm selecting actions and related record because we need to update the contact and contacts are related to account. So we need to select this option and I'm clicking on done. Now, here I'm going to select the update record. So we need to update the contacts. I'm selecting this option specify conditions to identify records and set field individually so we need to update the contacts which are related to account now we need to identify which accounts are sorry which contacts are related to that account which is updated so here you can write account id equals here you can search dollar record dot id so whenever you update any record so it's value will be available in this dollar record right so through this dollar record i am just fetching the id of that account and now i am comparing it with the account id so this account id is a lookup which is available on the contact so wherever on contact this account id is matching with this account so those contacts are related to that account right so here we need to update the home phone of those contacts so here you can write record dot phone. So the account which you are going to update that accounts phone will be populated on the home field of the contact, right? And it will be done for all the contacts. Those are related to that account automatically. Okay. So now I'm clicking on done. So this way, this flow is created. Now I'm just clicking on save. So update. related contacts without loop and I'm clicking on save activating this flow now moving here so here you can see we have two uh, related contacts so I'm going here and I'm going to update this phone value so here it is having uh, four times eight so i'm putting four times nine and i'm clicking on save if i go to related list so here we have two contacts so i am opening uh, these contacts in the new tab moving to details so here you can see home phone is available and it is having that value so on account we are having this value If I copy it and try to search it, so it is matching. If I go to another contact on the details, so here also you can see the same value is available on the home phone. So this way, uh, through this scenario, I demonstrated you how we can perform parent to child update in record trigger flow. So if you do something on the parent record, if you do some updation on the parent record and that update you want to apply on the child record, without using loop element. So this demo will help you out. 